obviously very excited to to be getting uh, more opportunity this year to play um, every game. Just try and go out and do my best there. Um, yeah, playing with Kane this weekend is a very exciting play. Obviously, everyone's seen that he he can finish any try uh, when he gets ball in hand. Um, but yeah, it just just go out and, and do what he does every game. Just be composed and um, stick to what he knows and play according to the plan. And yeah, we'll I'm sure we'll link up well. Uh, thanks very much, Z. Uh, Andre, just. Um... Obviously, you guys are all in a in a positive way com competing for your uh, place in the starting lineup, also for the World Cup. Um, uh, how how big a game could this be for you? You know, especially against the All Blacks uh, in terms of making your mark. A lot of players competing for for same positions, uh, and obviously to start to play every every weekend. Uh, I think it makes us all better play, players. No one's complacent, um, and everyone obviously um, likes the challenge. Uh, so every every game is important for for any player. I mean, when, whenever you play, you put on the Springbok jersey. It's, it's not just about you. So you play for the team, and you just do your best for the for the team. Is this okay, that? Yeah. Uh, I spoke to Rio yesterday. Um, is like looking a lot worse than yours, but uh, maybe once both of you, out of all the top teams, the box are most diverse in terms of where the players are, are based and the, the country that they play for in the clubs, if you know what I mean. Do you think that's a strength? Does it kind of give you guys a competitive advantage that no matter what you're presented with, there's someone who's probably seen something similar? Does that make sense? If you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know what you mean. Uh, yeah, I think, I mean, I think we spoke about it over, over. 20, 25 different clubs, so everyone yeah. played everywhere. Um, everyone has conditions everywhere, so I think it, it helps a bit. Uh, you get insight from, from different players and different players' perspectives. Um, obviously, going into this game, I, I know it's been well, so, which is nice for me. I've been here for three years now, so um, and and a lot of players have played here before. So, no, I think I think it is a, a bit of an advantage, and you know. You know, a few few points this year. I don't I don't think you hold back anything ever in a test match. Um every every test match is different, whether you play them yet, chicken them or if you play them in a quarter final. Um there's a big possibility that we are gonna face them in a quarter final if we make it there. Um so yes, um we are gonna throw everything out this weekend. Um it is gonna be a, a hard battle. Um so yeah, we we're not gonna hold back anything. And then I guess given there is a strong possibility you could meet each other, how valuable is it? I know you know the All Blacks well, you guys play them all the time, but to have had um, two clashes with them before that point, you know, how valuable are those games against the All Blacks, knowing what could be to come at the World Cup? Yeah, I think you're just a lot better prepared then. Um, you, obviously, you prepare well for teams who are watching video and stuff, but to experience them twice um, before before you play them again, um, it's obviously a big advantage. Um, obviously, it's an advantage for them as well because they've played as a as, uh, two. So, yeah, I think it's uh, the build up to it will, will, will be great. Um, so, yeah, so we'll see what happens. Trey, how much of a score is there to settle after what happened uh, last month? Um, yeah, it's not so much about a score to settle. It's, uh, I think it's a score to settle with ourselves. Uh, we know we let ourselves down, down in that game. Um, so it's for us to bet ourselves uh, to go out this, in, in, in this game and give it our all from, from the start, from the get-go. Um, yeah, just play with a big intensity and physicality. And David, just on Cardiff, um, what was your views on, on the yellow card and how relieved were you that it wasn't the, was the red? Yeah, I think obviously I got myself in an awkward position, um, which, you know, was me going head on head with Rio. Um, and yeah, I think it was the right decision. Um, I don't think, obviously it could have been worse with me getting a red and, you know, potentially getting banned. But yeah, I think uh, Mr. Brace handled it well. And I think uh, obviously for me, you know, I shouldn't get myself in a position like that because I got hurt. Um, and then, yeah, I think it's also just a rugby collision. Um, I don't think there's anything um, I could have done 
otherwise than that, I just try not to try and get myself in that position. But yeah, it happened and, you know, hopefully nothing bad has come of it. So yeah, I'm just all focused on this week and making sure I can prep well with the team. And as Andre said, you know, go on Friday night and just play good rugby and play with the intensity that we want to play. Um, yeah, just lastly to um, Andre. Um, Andre, in terms of the, obviously the big talk was from the last game was the start that New Zealand had. Um, what can you guys do? Um, is is it a mental thing in terms of getting into that pace um, of of the way New Zealand starts and being able to to handle that, uh, or, or how how would you guys kind of get to grips with that? The only thing we can do it, it, it is a mental thing. Um, the only thing we can do is start with big intensity and physicality. Um, so yeah, I think mentally it's it's the biggest thing, and then obviously going out there and do it. Um, you can't always ask for a good start because you never know what happens in a game, but you, you can always start with intensity and physicality. So, yeah, that's the biggest thing for us.